Hi hey everyone, we're back out to do scale mining with another sprue review. This time a new limited edition Edward kit. F3 ADV Tornado, Goodbye Tornado. 148 scale limited edition. I believe this is the Ravel kit. There are five schemes right there. Every single one of them looks good. There it is, Ravel Plastic Parts. Edward's good enough to tell you whose they are. Photo Etch, Painting Mask, Brazen, Cartograph, Decals for five options. And Squadron Prints apparently helped them with the box art. Kid number 11126. It's considered a limited edition. I do know it's sold out at Edward, but you can get it probably at your favorite hobby store. My favorite hobby store has four, sorry, two left in stock. PE, big bag of Ravel plastic, resin, instructions, decals. Set this box out of the way. And individually bags inside. So I don't need to keep the big bag taped. Sit all these aside. And let's start with this bag here that has several sprues in it, including fuselage parts. And parts coming off. So this part, it's got flash on it, but it looks like it's for something maybe. So we're going to put it back in the bag and save it. No we're not. We may lose it if we do that. We're going to do an old... Phil Flurry trick. Maybe. I can find my tape. You know when you have too many drawers full of stuff. We are going to tape this. To this sprue runner right here so it doesn't vanish. There we go. And while we're there, let's look at it. I've not looked at the Ravel kit, but I've heard good things about it. Good panel line and rivet detail throughout. Obviously, because there's different variants, you have different noses. This is the ADV variant, as I said at the beginning. There's the nose. It was bent over like that. There's your panel line and rivet detail. Throughout, even in the back where the engines are, there's your place for your tail hook, there's your tails. Two-piece tail, so make sure you... There's a little raise right there from that ejector pin. Just make sure you clean these up, feel them. Looks like they've been scraped a little bit. But, you know, you want to be safe. You want these things to fit good. So lots of dry fitting. And the next one from this bag is... Got lots of flash on it. This is... I'm thinking the back hump. These are above the engine intakes. And some rails. Some launching rails with good rivet and detail, but check out the flash on this sprue. Go ahead, say it. Typical Ravel. I still like Ravel kits. Yes, they're a little more challenging sometimes, but we are model builders. Some more hard points. Again, good detail. Make sure you clean up back here, do a little dry fitting because this one is raised. So, make sure you do a little clean up. 
And you know, Edward takes some good kits, adds some extra parts, makes them better. Here's the belly of the beast. Uh, I don't see any real flash on this sprue, fortunately. Here's another spine on top of the intake, so different variants. Again, very good detail underneath. Re recessed panel lines, recessed rivet detail. Very fine and crisp, looks to be in scale. There's the tail hook, I believe. But I could be wrong. Parts of the engines and your instrument panel. There you go. Check out some of that really good detail on the bottom if you've never seen this kit before. If you're wondering about it, there's the um, where the bolt wing fold goes. Some more light on the subject. So that's it for the first bag. Oh, sorry about that. Sorry about that. Here's your second bag of multiple screws. Hopefully no parts fall out this time. Uh, don't see any. I got this thing laying here. And I'm not sure if it's flashing out. I'm gonna sit that right off camera over there. Here we have wings. Upper wings and lower wings. We have a cockpit tub, more instrument panel. Now obviously if you're going to use a photo itch, you're going to sand that off. Static dischargers. The actual gears for lowering the flaps. And these are the kind of flaps, and if you watched a Flory video on building a tornado, they go curved down, they're not supposed to go straight down. And he did a pretty good job of explaining how to do it, but as you can see, some of the screws for lowering them. Both of those, you can see them better on this one. The lower one. And the same fine rivet panel line detail. Same fine instrument panel detail. Inside of the doors with no ejector pin marks inside those doors. Look, there's the bottom of the front wheel well. Looking good. Again, clean these up because there's a little bit of raised in that one, so I'm sure there is, like in this one too. Clean them up, dry fit them. There's some detail in the cockpit tub, which is also very nice. And next we have the tail section, the other part I was looking at was elevators, not tails. Sorry about that. Flaps, ailerons, gear legs, first stage compressor, afterburner rings, the front instrument panel for the pilot, parts for the wing folds. Um, I guess I'd say there's no burring, but since there are two halves, There'll probably be a seam line on these parts here. I don't see any burring. Good detail on the flaps and slats. The insides of the doors for the, the thrust, for reverse thrust doors. Good raised and recessed detail on the tail sections. There's the front instrument panel. And again, if you're using the PE, you're going to scrape all that off anyway. Unless they gave us some um, what am I thinking? Blank ones. There, inside the tail, is your copyright information. Fortunately, they put it in a place where you don't have to worry about it. These vents here are open, which is a nice touch. Good detail. There are ejector pin marks underneath all of these. So if they're going to be seen, you're going to take some time. I would just take my pin vise, not my pin vise, my punch and die set, and punch out some 
be careful, I almost broke that. You can see there's flash on there. Punch out some rings to put in there if they're going to be seen. And again, make sure there's some more raised flash right there on the ejector pin mark. You're cleaning all these up and dry fitting them. Can't express that enough. There's your intakes. You may or may not have a seam line, and I'm not sure how far down you'll be able to see, but when you put them together, you'll know. And there are plenty of instructional videos online, starting with Flory, about how to fill those and make them seamless intakes. There's your actual tail hook. So the other part in, I was wrong. Again, there's two parts for landing gear. There's your intake parts right there. And there are, are one there, one there. Very small ejector pin marks on this one and this one that you'll need to clean up to make the intake look really good. Here's those very delicate control parts for the flaps and the slats. And again, flash. And again, some very nice detail. Raised, recessed panel lines and rivets. That's it for that bag. This bag has got us some fuel tanks. These look like Sparrow missiles. These big old fuel tanks with nice recessed panel line detail. And here we have the ejector seat, which of course we're going to be probably using the resin one of, but if you didn't, it doesn't look too bad. Some good detail, some good fine detail. And another missile, and a sidewinder, and there's your engine exhaust nozzle, your afterburner rings, your tires, that do not have weight on them, two-piece tires, various antennas and markings, not markings, various antennas, here's some more screws for the control surfaces. Good detail on all the weapons parts and the hard points, pylons. The um, sidewinders are in one piece, which is a nice touch. And these are the exact same sprues matching. So those four that we just looked at, there's another bag of four. And let's look at the clear parts because they've been bringing up controversy. Everybody's pretty much has had some damage. Let's check mine. If I can get out of the bag. There we go. Oh yeah. And some guys just said they've been polishing it out. But, there he is, right there, right there, it's like a scratch line running all the way around, only very fine, you can barely feel it. So supposedly Ravel's making up a whole bunch of more that you'll be able to get through Edward when they become available. So, that's the problem. Runs all the way around that part of the canopy. You can see really good right there. There. So, there's the damage to the canopy that everyone's been talking about. Now, I do have the Ravel version of this kit somewhere. So, I may just go and see if that one looks the same. I don't think it does, or else we would have heard about it a while ago. 
resin. One of the things that make these Edward Limited Editions so good. Look at these beautiful seats. Two of them, of course. Outstanding detail to both of those. And of course the pull handles and other parts to the seats. And cushions. Right back there, seat cushions. Very nice touch. And then this separate bag included inside is the wheels for those weight on wheels that did not come in plastic with Goodyear on them, proper Goodyear on them. The two rear wheels, the two front wheels, and the hubs and brake calipers for the rear wheels. So, nice resin touch for the limited edition. Put all this back in the bag so it's protected. And then in the bag in the bag. And then the seats. And the cushions. Okay. Photo etch. Two seats. Color photo etch with a clear acetate part there. And the screens actually look like they're off and not on. And of course you've got your seat belts too, but it looks like the color of the screens if they were off. And then you've got some detail parts for the outside, for the afterburner rings, the heads up display. All right. And we've got us some cartographs or some headboard masks. We know how those are. Love them or hate them. I use them. I like them. They usually fit just fine. If not, I would just cut my own using Tamiya tape. Self-closing decal bag, which we're going to put just like that. Come on. Beautiful cartograph decals. The colors are vibrant. They're in register. They're cut right to the edge of the decal so there's no leftover decal sheet. Stencils are legible if you want to read that. But that's amazingly vibrant yellow and red on there. And they are a little glossy, admit it, but if these are for showbirds, they would be glossy. So, outstanding. Cartograph is an amazing decal company. It's all the way back in the bag. Seal it right back up. And lastly, Zoom on out. We have us one of Edward's really nice instruction seats. That black one looks really good. Sprue maps, including the bluing part that you will not use because you're using resin. And color callouts from Aqueous Mr. Color and Mission Models. Of course, you're starting with your resin seats. 
And all the PE for the floor, the rudders, the red parts of what you want to shave off. Huh, see, I put the cushion against the back, but it actually goes down at the bottom. And then, of course, there's your color collage with your mission model color and your hobbyist, Mr. Hobby. And Mr. Hobby Aqueous Gauntz. Seats going in. Again, some more PE parts. Some more removing parts for instrument panels. Now, you have an option. Because there are decals. That's why this isn't red. Because you can use decals if you want. Or you can use a photo etch. Putting the fuselage together. Putting in the gun. The sides of the fuselage. Getting your wings together, your intakes. This is telling you the different parts to use and how to cut if you're going to have the wings closed or open. <coughs> Excuse me. So you do that. You decide which way. I'm assuming you can fold the wings back because you know there's ridges in there. But if you're going to keep them folded, you need to have them one way or the other. If you want a movable, then you can just cut those out. I probably have mine unfolded because it'll be sitting on the ground. Unless in storage it is folded. I'll have to ask one of the Flory Tornado experts. Do not glue. Do not glue. Several do not glue things. There's the rear end part of the engines, the nozzles. Right there. Going in. No scone, don't forget to add weight. But it doesn't say how much weight. Come on, Eddie. Tell us how much weight. I'd just fill it. There's your tails, your slaps, slats, and flaps. Obviously, you're going to have the flaps and slats down. The wings have to be open. So there's what it takes to do that. I would have to look back and compare the, these instructions to the Revell instructions, see if these are more clear. And then, back parts of the engine, speed brakes, air brakes opened or closed, depending how you want them. Open, closed. And we've got the gear, which fortunately can go in last. So you can paint it without the gear in it. Nice touch. Resin wheels, of course. Another part you got to cut out. For back screens. You can either use decals or use the PE. Tail hook. Rails for the canopy, which are PE. It's got some PE and some... Plastic, PE mirrors, canopy closed, canopy open, you're going to have to do different things. And then all the sensors and antennas for the underneath. And there's your weapons. And there's your weapons. And there's your weapons. And if this was a showbird, I'm guessing those would be inert weapons. There's your masking, which is going to require some fill-in. Which, I heard someone saying the other day, if you have to fill it in anyway, why not just use Tamiya tape, make one whole thing yourself, and then not fill it in. Take about the same amount of time. Give that a try. And then your color callouts. Black. RAF Station. Blue cars. I know that's wrong. RAF Station. Coningsby. I just love that you get vibrant yellow and red. Defense Aviation Repair Agency, Prince Sultan Air Base, Saudi Arabia. All gray. Another RAF station, this one with black and gold, black and yellow. And another red one from Waddington, 2003. And then all your stencil data, which there's quite a bit, and more. And weapon stencil data. And then the resin you can buy to add to this kit if you want. 
So we didn't get the undercarriage set, we didn't get these two exterior sets, and we didn't get the resin weapons, and we didn't get the remove before flight tags, which is probably the one thing I would want to get. So there you have it. Spur of view of the new Edward Limited Edition Tornado. Goodbye, Tornado. The beautiful plane. We loved you so. Thanks for watching. Have yourself a wonderful, wonderful day. Wait a minute. Is your ass sitting at the bench modeling while you're listening to this? Good job. <laughs>